jumping in <clears throat> Liam all right we're jumping in this is uh, one of Liam's one of Liam's first deer hunts so he is going to go out this bridge and kind of up onto that cut skirt the edge and I'm going to go out the road and try and wrap around and meet him for like roughly noon time so we are heading in going in day one we just worked out of this big cut. The wind is kind of right in our face when we're going the way we are. So we're working out of that. Working into some thick stuff into another cut. And then we're gonna go up top of this and circle back around into that bowl over there. Try and get up on top of that ridge and then drop back down to the truck. Hopefully it's about the time that we said. It's just really loud. Your moose poop and stuff up here. It's really good. Um, trails everywhere for them. Right there we got a rub. feel like the Elmers right now from Mountain Deer. We're way up on this top. It's all thick spruce. I, I like it. Especially on a nice windy day like this. But I think we need to keep going to the other side where the wind isn't hitting it. They couldn't have left me one of them. What's up with that? There's the edge of that cut right there. Actually, there's the moose. I'm looking at one of them. Well, that's right where they were. I got to look at one bull, one cow, and another bull. And there's another something up here. I could see two antlers on both of the bulls for now. I think we're dropping off that way. I think that's the cut that Liam was in this morning. Cool. Absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Yep, this lens is getting thrown out. Keeps making those damn noises. So I think we're going to leave them. Because they're probably a little pedoed. I'm gonna drop back into the woods a ways and just work my way down. I did exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do. I went and followed the moose. Um, they came down this way, kind of, but I met a guy named Steve, super cool. He has uh, another guy coming off the other side. Um, I think he said he saw Liam's tracks, but <clears throat> there was three other guys that went farther in than us, so. I've uh, come down to this point. Gonna jump across and bounce some of these little spruce fingers down. If I said, wow, that's gorgeous, and chuckled, would anybody get the joke? That it's a gorge? Ha, 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 ha. I need sleep. Ha, ha. Holy 
cow, it's chilly. It's like 15 or 16 degrees out. Um, hearing noises already. <laughs> but we're just in this tiny little gravel pit. We're going to uh, bounce uphill from here into some little skid trails and uh, smash the antlers together because it's already loud out. Let's make some more noise. Um, just tired and cold. Um, not going to do it for too long. I'll go back, heat up the cab, and get that thing roaring. Oh my god, we're going to need it. Let's get in the woods. The uh, kitchen over there looking cluttered as usual. Um, We've got some ribs heating up on the stove. Um, the tent has been blowing around quite violently here the last couple of minutes. The backpack, the pants are getting bounced around a bit. I'm trying to thaw out Liam's because they had frozen pant legs today. What do you think of day one, Liam? Cold and exciting. It was uh, good. This is going to be the end of day one. Where'd I put it? Right there. This is the end of day one. Um, we're going to eat some food. Pretty typical meat and beer. And uh, call it a night. That was. That's the end. What do you Stay think, Liam? Stay safe. Have a good time, people. Yeah. So, uh, stoking the fire. Get some food in us. Hit in the sack. It's not even 6 o'clock yet. <laughs> On to day two.